Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And every so often there will be one feature in Photoshop that I discover and it changes everything. And I know that sounds hyperbolic, but today is one of those days. Now, since you're on YouTube, I just want to mention if you like videos like this, there are hundreds more free ones available at controlpaint.com. So check them out. And the feature is deceptively simple, but let's get a little context first so you can see just how cool this is. Here I have a pretty standard bit of concept art that I'd work on. It has lots and lots of layers, certain parts of the image are separated from each other. And importantly, what I have on top here are color correction groups. So I have one look here, I can turn that off. Here's a different look. And I even have an adjustment layer that just changes the color of this plastic. So it's like, you know, if you're in a video game, you could kind of choose as a player what color you wanted this to be. All of these things are indirect painting methods. They allow me to, you know, change the color of this and then maybe change the color grading and all that is separate from the underlying painting. So let me turn that off for a minute. The other thing I have is I like to do sculpting. If we look at the back here, this is kind of a work in progress. Here's what it used to look like. And then here I did some painting on top. To accomplish this, what I like to do is use the Alt key and just on screen blend. So I'm grabbing the color from right below my cursor, painting with that new color and on and on. And this is all the sort of standard painting stuff that I've talked about in previous videos. Maybe I'll use a soft brush to blend. Okay. This is one method of painting, kind of direct hands-on on-screen mixing. The other method of painting is indirect. Here I'm using more mechanical, purely digital ideas to have kind of indirect control of the image. Previously, these two were at odds. I have to have a whole bunch of different workarounds in order to maybe paint a while like this on kind of the neutral mode and then say, oh, but I do want it to look a little yellower. So then I'd toggle on my color correction, kind of look at it and say, ah, yes, still good. Then I'd turn it off and I'd go back to the painting. Well, I don't know when they added this feature. I'm sure I'm late to the party, but if you go to the eyedropper tool and then you go to the sample category, if you click all layers, no adjustments, a little bit of magic happens. Now what I can do is have both. So let's turn on one of the color correction looks and I'm also going to change the pop color. And yeah, we'll go with the green. That seems nice. Now I want to do some sculpting. Just to work on this area again, I'll go back into my flat painting and I'm just going to paint like normal. I'm using the sample tool with alt. I'm doing absolutely normal on screen blending. I'm doing temp layers, erase away what I don't need. There is really nothing special about this method. I'm not avoiding using any tools. I'm just painting like normal, but I'm actually not painting the real colors. If you want to think of it that way, remember the real colors are these neutrals with their before the color grading, but it doesn't matter. What I'm doing is I'm just sampling what I see and Photoshop somehow figures out how to accommodate for the fact that there are adjustment layers happening and it just allows you to ignore it. This is huge. I, I can't get over what a game changer this is for me because what it means is I can now do both types of painting. I can do the hands-on direct, get in there and sculpt and just don't worry about layer stuff. I'll call this design. You know, this is thinking like a painter or perhaps thinking like a draftsman and you're just getting in here and making creative choices and you are not getting hum hung up on all the little fussiness of layer setup and you know, all the things that Photoshop offers us, but that come at the cost of your mental flow here. I can just put on the blinders and work, but then also I'm getting the benefit of a non-destructive set of color grading in this case. So I can turn off this set and go to this other set. Maybe I want this more kind of blue high key lighting, or maybe I want to go and change the color of the grip. These are all decoupled. I can work on these indirect parts. I can work on the direct parts. None of them mess with each other. Now I am relatively new into exploring this technique 
And so I'm sure there's going to be some caveats. In fact, I've dedicated the next video one week from now about things I figure out, areas where this is not quite so good to be true. But at a first glance, this seems extremely powerful, where we can have both color grading and normal painting all at the same time. So hopefully this is useful to you. If you know something that I don't, please let us know in the comments. But I really look forward to road testing this technique because I'm pretty excited. So have fun using it in your paintings and thanks for coming to the site.